This is the second part of a list containing every species abandoned on the planet Nakare-1011c. If you haven't done so already, I highly recommend you go to the first video and observe the list of flora and fungi that are part of this project. This video will cover all species of invertebrate life, both great and small, abandoned on the world of Parias. Miscellaneous anomalia is a grouping involving animals that do not belong to the chordate, arthropod, or mollusk phyla. This segment will describe these animals based on their clade of diversity brought to Parias, of which multiple species of said group can be said to belong to the project. Hydra is a genus of small, freshwater organisms of the phylum Cnidaria and class Hydrozoa. They are native to the temperate and tropical regions of Earth. Biologists are especially interested in Hydra because of the regenerative ability. They do not appear to die of old age or to age at all. When food is plentiful, many Hydra reproduce asexually by budding. The buds form from the body wall, grow into miniature adults, and break away when they are fully grown. Baroidae is a family of tenophores or comb jellies more commonly referred to as baroids. It is the only family within the monotypic order of Baroidea and the class Nuda. They are distinguished from other comb jellies by the complete absence of tentacles in both juvenile and adult stages. Species of the family Baroidae are found in all the world's oceans and seas and are free swimmers that form part of the plankton. Some Nudans have a very large oral cavity, allowing them to swallow prey whole. Borrelia arita, also called the common jellyfish, moon jellyfish, or moon jelly, is a species of the genus Aurelia. This jellyfish is almost entirely translucent, usually about 25 to 40 centimeters, or 10 to 16 inches, in diameter, and can be recognized by its four horseshoe-shaped gonads, easily seen through the top of the bell. It feeds by collecting medusae, plankton, and mollusks with its tentacles, bringing them into its body for digestion. Genus Aphroditoides is commonly known as a sand striker or bobbit worm. It is a benthic bristle worm of warm marine waters. It lives mainly in the Atlantic Ocean, but can also be found in the Indo-Pacific. It ranges in length from less than 10 centimeters to 2 meters, or 3 inches to 7 feet. Its iridescent cuticle produces a wide range of colors, from black to purple. These ambush predators have no eyes, but five antennae on their head that are used to sense prey instead. Despite the exoskeleton, this creature is an annelid worm and not an arthropod. Glossophoniidae are a family of freshwater, proboscis-bearing leeches. These leeches are generally flattened and have a poorly defined anterior sucker. Most suck the blood of freshwater vertebrates like amphibians, crocodilians, and aquatic turtles, but some feed on invertebrates like freshwater snails instead. Multiple species of these annelids were brought to Parias for some reason. Suborder of Lumbricina, or earthworms, are terrestrial invertebrates that belong to the phylum Annelida. They exhibit a tube-within-a-tube body plan. They are externally segmented, with corresponding internal segmentation. Earthworms are commonly found in soil, eating a wide variety of organic matter. Astropectin aurunchiacus, or the red comb star, is a sea star of the family Astropectinidae. Astropectin aurunchiacus lives on sandy, muddy, or gravel bottoms at depths of 2 to 100 meters, or 7 to 300 feet. The species is active and easy to find in the late afternoon and during the night. Sponges, the members of the phylum Porifera, are a basal animal clade of the sister to the diploblasts. They are asymmetric multicellular organisms that have bodies full of pores and channels allowing water to circulate through them. Sponges have unspecialized cells that can transform into other types and that often migrate between their main cell layers. Sponges do not have nervous, digestive, or circulatory systems. Instead, most rely on maintaining a constant flow of water throughout their bodies to obtain food and oxygen and to remove wastes. Many species of sponges were brought to Parias. Cynozoa is a class of marine invertebrates which includes the sea anemones, stony corals, and soft corals. Adult anthozoans are almost all attached to the seabed, while their larvae can disperse as part of the plankton. The majority of corals are colonial, being formed by the budding of new polyps from an original, founding individual. Colonies are strengthened by calcium carbonate and other materials and take various massive, plate-like, bushy, or leafy forms. Given how necessary coral reefs are in modern aquatic ecosystems, many species of coral were brought to Parias.
Isaora fusesin, or the Pacific Sea Nettle, is a common planktonic skyphozoan that lives in the eastern Pacific Ocean from Canada to Mexico. Sea nettles have a distinctive golden-brown bell with a reddish tint. The bell of this jellyfish can grow to be larger than 1 meter or 3 feet in diameter in the wild, though most are less than 50 centimeters across. The long, spiraling, white oval arms and the 24 undulating maroon tentacles may trail behind as far as 15 feet. Sea anemones are a group of predatory marine animals of the order Actinearia. As cnidarians, sea anemones are related to corals, jellyfish, and hydra. Unlike jellyfish, sea anemones do not have a medusa stage in their life cycle. A typical sea anemone is a single polyp attached to a hard surface by its base, but some species live in soft sediment, and a few float near the surface of the water. The polyp has a columnar trunk topped by an oral disc with a ring of tentacles and a central mouth. Sinistra fulgur perverensum, or the lightning whelk, is an edible species of very large predatory sea snail, which is a marine gastropod mollusk. Lightning whelks can be found in the sandy or muddy substrate of shallow embayments. Freshwater pearl mussel, Margaritifera margaritifera, is an endangered species of freshwater mussel and aquatic bivalve. This species is capable of making fine quality pearls and was historically exploited in the search for them. The pearl mussel exhibits negligible senescence and it has a maximum lifespan of 210 to 250 years. Sepia apama, or the giant cuttlefish, is the world's largest cuttlefish species. It can grow up to 50 centimeters, or a foot and a half, in mantle length, and over 10.5 kilograms, or 20 pounds, in weight. Using cells known as chromatophores, the cuttlefish can put on spectacular displays, changing the color of its skin in an instant. Rhodes pacificus, or the Japanese flying squid, thrives in a diverse range of waters. Adult squid have several distinguishing features. The mantle encloses the visceral mass of the squid and has two fins, which are not the primary method of propulsion. Instead, the squid has a siphon, a muscle which takes in water from one side and pushes it out the other side, kind of like jet propulsion. Flying squid have been observed to cover distances as long as 30 meters or 100 feet above the surface of the water, presumably to avoid predators or save energy as they migrate across vast expanses of ocean, uniquely utilizing jet-propelled aerial locomotion. Helix pomatia, otherwise known as the Roman snail, is a species of large, edible, air-breathing land snail, a pulmonate gastropod terrestrial mollusk in the family Helicidae. It is one of Europe's biggest species of land snail, and the shell is creamy white to light brownish, often with indistinct brown color bands. Pacific banana slug, Aerolimax columbianus, is a species of slug found on the Pacific coast. It is the second largest species of terrestrial slug in the world, growing up to 25 centimeters or 9.8 inches long. It is often bright yellow, but can also be greenish, brown, tan, or white. Ursula solidissima, or the Atlantic surf clam, is a very large, edible saltwater clam. Atlantic surf clams live buried in coarse or fine sand. They live offshore as well as in low intertidal and surf zones. Like almost all clams, they are filter feeders, siphoning microscopic life and organic matter from the water. Ursula vulgata, otherwise known as the common limpet or common European limpet, is a species of sea snail. It is a typical true limpet a marine gastropod mollusk in the family Patillidae, with gills. It looks kind of like a barnacle at a quick glance, but the limpet is a mollusk and the barnacle is an arthropod. Conicella lineata is a very colorful chiton, having blue, purple, or black straight or zigzag lines on each of the eight valves. The background color of the halves is often brown or red, but can also be bright blue or yellow to orange. This species grows about five centimeters in length. Octopus vulgaris, or the common octopus, is a mollusk belonging to the class Cephalopoda. Octopus vulgaris is one of the most studied of all octopus species, and is also one of the most intelligent. On Earth, it can be found across the world's oceans, but only has a lifespan of one to two years. Nautilus is a pelagic marine mollusk of the cephalopod family Nautilidae. The Nautilus is the sole extant family of the superfamily Nautilaceae, 
It comprises six living species and two genera, the type of which is the genus Nautilus. All six of these living fossil species were brought to Piraeus. Chromodorus lacai is a species of colorful sea slug. Chromodorus lacai is blue or bluish white with a white margin and typically dark or black lines running down the mantle and the foot. This species thrives in tropical seas. Costasiella kurushime, or the leaf slug, is a bizarre species of sea slug. Leaf slugs are capable of a chemical process called kleptoplasty, in which they retain the chloroplast from the algae they feed on. Absorbing the chloroplast from algae then enables them to indirectly perform photosynthesis. Oplysia vicaria, or the black sea hare, is the largest sea slug species. The black sea hare can grow to be very large, with the longest recorded specimen measuring in at 99 centimeters, or 39 inches, when crawling, and weighed nearly 14 kilograms, or 31 pounds. Mytilus adulis, also known as the blue mussel or the common mussel, is a medium-sized edible marine bivalve in the family Mytilidae. Blue mussels are subject to commercial use in intensive aquaculture. A species with a large range, empty shells are commonly found on beaches across the world. Coleophora is a very large genus of moths of the family Coleophoridae. It contains some 1,350 described species. The genus is represented on all continents, but the majority are found in the Arctic and Palearctic regions. As with most members of the family, the larvae initially feed on the seeds, flowers, or leaves of the host plant, but when larger they feed externally and construct distinctive protective silken cases, often incorporating plant material. Limonitis or chippus, otherwise known as the viceroy butterfly, is an orange and black butterfly that looks awfully similar to monarch butterflies. It was long thought to be a Batesian mimic of the monarch butterfly, but since the viceroy is also distasteful to predators, it is now considered a Mullerian mimic. Adult viceroys nectar on milkweeds, thistles, and other common flowers. Apis mellifera, or the western honeybee, is the most common honeybee species. Like all honeybee species, the western honeybee is eusocial, creating colonies with a single fertile female or queen, many normally non-reproductive females or workers, and a small proportion of fertile males or drones. Individual colonies can house tens of thousands of bees. Oniscus ocellus, or the common woodlouse, occurs in a wide range of habitats, including some with little available calcium. It is chiefly found under stones and on rotting wood. It is the only woodlouse regularly found on heather moors and blanket bogs, where it lives around items such as rotting fence posts. Pronertia nidriventer, or the Brazilian wandering spider, has a leg span of 13 to 18 centimeters, or 5 to 7 inches. Their body length ranges from 17 to 48 millimeters, or 0.67 to 1.89 inches. The genus Pronertia includes some of the relatively few species of spiders known to present a threat to humans. Fernertia nigiventer is known to hide in dark and moist places in or near human dwellings. Platycryptus undatus, also called the tan jumping spider, is a species of jumping spider. The bodies of these spiders are rather compressed in the vertical direction, which allows them to hide themselves under the loosened bark of trees and other tight places. They have a prominent pattern on their abdomens, which make them more difficult to distinguish on mottled surfaces. The genus Campanatus, otherwise known as carpenter ants, are large ants indigenous to many forested parts of the world. They build nests inside wood consisting of galleries chewed out with their mandibles, preferably in dead, damp wood. However, unlike termites, they do not consume wood, discarding a material that resembles sawdust. The order Solifugae includes more than 1,000 described species in about 147 genera. They are often called wind scorpions or sun spiders. Despite the common names, they are neither true scorpions nor true spiders. Most species of Solifugae live in dry climates and feed opportunistically on ground-dwelling arthropods and other small animals. The largest species grow to a length of 12 to 15 centimeters or 5 to 6 inches, including their legs.
Anoplelepis gracilepis, or the yellow crazy ant, is an invasive ant species that establishes well in new climates. They're also referred to as a tramp ant, a species that easily becomes established and dominant in new habitats due to traits such as aggression towards other ant species, little aggression towards members of its own, efficient recruitment, and large colony size. Fire ants are several species of ants in the genus Solenopsis, which includes over 200 species. Solenopsis are stinging ants, and most of their common names reflect this, for example, ginger ants and tropical fire ants. A typical fire ant colony produces large mounds in open areas, and feeds mostly on young plants, insects, and seeds. They get this common name from their uncomfortable and painful bites. Scolopendra cingulata, also known as the Megarian banded centipede, is a common arthropod to find in southern Europe. This species has alternating bands of black and yellow gold. At approximately 10 to 15 centimeters, or 4 to 6 inches, Scolopendra cingulata is one of the smallest species in the family Scolopendridae. Anadenobolus monocolornis, also called the yellow banded millipede, often inhabits leaf litter in tropical climates. Individuals are dark brown with distinctive yellow bands, with red legs and antenna as well. This species of millipede measures in at 2.5 to 3 centimeters, or an inch to 1.2 inches long. Bombus lapidarius is a species of bumblebee in the subgenus Melobombus. Commonly known as the red-tailed bumblebee, B. lapidarius can be found throughout much of Central Europe. Known for its distinctive black and red body, the social bee is very important in pollination. Califoridae is a family of insects in the order Diptera, with almost 1,900 known species. The maggot larvae, often used as fishing bait, are known as gentles. Carrion flies are occasional pollinators, being attracted to flowers with strong odors resembling rotting meat, such as the American pawpaw. Sympetrum flaviolum, otherwise known as the yellow-winged darter, is a dragonfly found in Europe. Breeding is confined to stagnant water, usually in peat bogs. Dragonflies are one of the most successful predators, with over 90% of their hunts ending in a successful kill. Serrato pugoniidae is a family of flies commonly known as noceums, or biting midges, generally 1-3 to three millimeters in length. The family includes more than 5,000 species, distributed worldwide, apart from the Antarctic and the Arctic. Both adult males and females feed on nectar, but most females also feed on the blood of vertebrates, including humans, to get protein for egg laying. Lamprima aurata, or the golden stag beetle, is a species of beetle in the family Lucanidae. This beetle has an oval, shiny body. It measures between 15 and 25 millimeters in length. It is fairly variable in coloration, so it has been given many names by various authors. The color of the males is typically metallic golden green or golden yellow, while females may be blue, blue-green, or dull brown. Burying beetles or sexton beetles, genus Nicrophorus, are the best known members of the family Cephylidae. Most of these beetles are black with red markings on the elytra. Burying beetles are true to their name. They bury the carcasses of small vertebrates such as birds and rodents as a food source for their larvae. Acrocinus longimanus, also known as the harlequin beetle, is a tropical longhorn beetle native from southern Mexico to Uruguay. The harlequin beetle feeds on sap and is given this name because of its elaborate pattern of black, red, and greenish-yellow markings on the wing covers of both sexes. Platerodrillus, or the trilobite beetle, is a genus of beetles in the family Lycidae. The females retain a larval form as adults and are about 40 to 80 millimeters in length. In contrast, the males are much smaller, reaching in at about 10 millimeters. Parasteatoda tepidariorum, or the common house spider, is a spider species of the genus Parasteatoda, with a cosmopolitan distribution. Common house spiders are cyanthropic and live in near human dwellings. Common house spiders are variable in color from tan to nearly black, frequently with patterns or differing shades on their body. Otta is a genus of New World ants of the subfamily Murocinae. It contains at least 17 known species. 
Adder leafcutter ants are relatively large, rusty red or brown in color, and have a spiny body and long legs. The three main castes within the nest are the queen, her workers, and her soldiers. Lampyridae are a family of insects in the beetle order Coleoptera, with more than 2,000 described species, many of which are light-emitting. They are soft-bodied beetles, commonly called fireflies, lightning bugs, or glowworms for their conspicuous production of light, mainly during twilight, to attract mates. Bigris latro, or the coconut crab, is a species of terrestrial hermit crab which is also known as the robber crab or palm thief. It is the largest terrestrial arthropod in the world, with a weight of up to 4.1 kilograms or 9 pounds. It can grow up to 1 meter or 3 feet in width from the tip of one leg to the tip of another. Northern krill, Meganictifanes norvegica, is a species of krill that lives in the North Atlantic Ocean. It is an important component of the zooplankton, providing food for whales, fish, and birds alike. Jecarsoidea natalis, otherwise known as the Christmas Island red crab, is a species of land crab that is endemic to Christmas Island and Cocos Islands in the Indian Ocean. Christmas Island red crabs make an annual mass migration to the sea to lay their eggs in the ocean, a phenomenon that's been depicted well in the internet. Tachypleus tridentatus, commonly known as the Chinese horseshoe crab, is a species of horseshoe crab found in Southeast and East Asia. It is commonly found in coastal marine and brackish waters and tolerates colder temperatures than the other Asian horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs are not crabs at all, but are most closely related to spiders and scorpions, and may even be arachnids themselves. The cephalothorax is protected by a single large horseshoe-shaped plate, and neither it nor the abdomen is visibly segmented. Metacarcinus magister, or the Dungeness crab, is a species of crab inhabiting eelgrass beds and water bottoms along the west coast of North America. It typically grows as 20 centimeters across the carapace and is a popular seafood. Dungeness crabs have a wide, long, hard shell, which they must periodically molt to grow. Macrochira chiamfer, also known as the Japanese spider crab, is a species of marine crab that lives in the waters around Japan. It has the largest leg span of any arthropod. It goes through three main larval stages along with the prezoeal stage to grow to its great size. The Japanese spider crab has the greatest leg span of any arthropod, reaching up to 3.7 meters or 12 feet from claw to claw. The body may grow to 40 centimeters or 16 inches in carapace width. Homarus americanus, often known as the American lobster, is a species of lobster found on the Atlantic coast. It can reach a body length of 64 centimeters or 25 inches and a mass of over 20 kilograms or 44 pounds, making it not only the heaviest crustacean in the world, but also the heaviest of all living arthropod species. Periambus typicus is a species of amphipod crustacean. It is found in the Atlantic Ocean from northern Norway south to the Cape Verde Islands and into the Mediterranean Sea as far east as Italy. Adults grow to a length of 7 millimeters and are commonly found in association with starfish and sea urchins. Pendalus borealis is a species of Caridean shrimp found in cold parts of the northern Atlantic and northern Pacific Oceans. Pendalus borealis usually lives on a soft muddy bottoms at depths of 20 to 1,330 meters, or 66 to 4,400 feet, in waters with a temperature of 0 to 8 degrees Celsius, or 32 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Pendalus borealis is an important food resource and has been widely fished since the early 20th century. A giant isopod is any of the almost 20 species of large isopods in the genus Abathionis. They are abundant in the cold, deep waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Giant isopods are a good example of deep sea gigantism as they are far larger than the typical isopods, they are up to 5 centimeters or 2 inches. Bathynomus adults typically are between 8 and 15 centimeters, or 3.1 to 5.9 inches, long. Bolanus grandula is one of the most common barnacle species, and they are commonly found in the upper intertidal zone on mussels, rocks, and pier pillings. They can live up to 10 years. And despite their strange life cycle, they are arthropods and therefore more closely related to bugs than they are to limpets or snails. 
Procambarus is a genus of crayfish in the family Cambaridae, all native to North and Central America. It includes a number of troglobitic species and the marbled crayfish, which is parthenogenetic. Originally described as a subgenus of four species, it now contains 161 species and 16 subgenera. I would like to thank you all for the immense support and feedback this channel has received. The third and final portion of life left on Nakari-1011C will cover the vertebrates, and the video for that will be released within a few days of this one. If you want to catch that video, make sure to subscribe, and if you want behind-the-scenes details on future videos, join the Discord server. The link to the server is in the description and the pinned comment. I hope you all have a great day.